Hi, I'm Phil, and this week's Connects Health Quick Fix is Slip. Are you tired? You should you should try sleeping. Individual results may vary, but if you find that you're waking up just as tired as when you went to sleep, try extending the length of your session. Science is telling us that seven to eight hours is the optimal length for sleep. So try to get started at least eight hours before you have to start doing things the next day. The eggheads also say we shouldn't be drinking caffeine within eight hours of commencing a sleep session. Something about central nervous system stimulants not being good for getting to sleep. Who knew? Here at Connects Health, we've been conducting experimental studies and the results have been astounding. Apart from finding out that Dave has a brain, we've discovered that sleep can reduce your tiredness levels by up to 100%. <laughs> How are you feeling, right? Good. Still tired? No. <gasps> Who are you? Where am I? Okay. <laughs> if you are getting seven to eight hours of sleep and not drinking coffee after lunch, but you find you're still waking up tired, something else may be the problem. Take a look at the checklist in the comments and tick off as many items as you can. You might look at it and think, wow, that's a lot, but it's not. If after two weeks that doesn't seem to work, it might be time to see a professional to get some answers. If all this seems too hard, just remember that poor sleep is a risk factor for every major chronic illness, except rheumatoid arthritis. I've been told that poor sleep is a risk factor for rheumatoid arthritis. So the next time it's the night, you want to feel good and productive the next day, try getting some sleep.